The Weaver scared me way more than the other two riders. Oh, all I hear is noise going on around me, and I'm sorry if it's coming up on the mic. There's another bark. Okay. What else is that? Okay, that's either family members TV or just it being loud as all hell. Okay, only now two. Two. Okay. Bring it back. Just, just, just a smidge. Okay, yeah, their TV's that shit. That's all I can find here. It's getting on the mic. Uh, yeah, that's gonna annoy the hell out of me. But I can't stop it because they're fucking TV on the other side of my wall. Yeah, so. Okay, I'll try a noise reduction. He's not supposed to dodge my attacks. How's that fair? Okay, I thought you would have gone after. Oh, okay. I thought it was at least one of you would go after Ephra. <coughs> <coughs> I choked on my own spit. <gasps> I forgot about them. Uh oh. Uh oh. Pretty god if I can ever get past this level. Be real nice. God damn it. Turn, but since he hadn't, I did, and I risked it, and oh, I fucking forgot down here. I might lose Noel again. If I lose Seth, then I have more problems, but Noel is also. There's like a bare minimum I'm willing to sacrifice, and it's one that I haven't been with for a long time already. There's another reason why I'm so sad that you didn't hit freaking hit. I mean, honestly, if y'all target Seth, okay. I should put you on Nosferatu. You're gonna be dying. You're gonna die. I. I'm already. Oh no, you didn't hit twice. 
But okay, now it's dead. Do I reset? <laughs> I think at the time I put... Wait, 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 wait. Load or store. I mean, they're down here. But that part doesn't entirely need to change. Um, but we will just instead back these guys up. Put everyone here. No, right behind him. And do it that way. That seems like a plausible solution. Wait, are you? Yeah. Do that. Okay. You dodged it, still. Are you gonna hit? Okay, you hit with one. <laughs> And you still dodged it. Uh, okay, and you dodged that one. Everything about this is awful. Our situation sucks. I want to be done with this chapter. <sighs> That's actually the right way. That's what I should have done. I forgot about rescue. Because <laughs> it doesn't exist in later games. Hit, 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 hit. Okay. So we have done the rescue, which will keep Noel alive. And I'm confident that Ephraim won't die. Dulce should be fine, and Seth should be fine. So, gonna create another restore point. Now that I realize how to not fuck shit up. Okay. Then I'm going to attempt to kill with Garrick. You have two shots. And you got the second. One down, one more to go. I'm 
pretty sure reinforcements will stop showing the fuck up. You can get rid of the bed. Did you do decent now? Yes? Yeah. I mean... We're now in a safe place. For the most part. You could have done that on the first day. Why? Never on the first day. And now you mend. Okay. Let them come to me. Motel crossing this patch of desert. What? You can't use dragon eggs? I swear. Okay, maybe I level him. Or his weapon affinity went up in the process of the fight. So hopefully he'll be able to. Don't worry about Noel dying. I think we're good. Seth, you missed. That is a rare case for you. Oh, that is just takes so long. I want to skip all of this. Could I would? Yeah, you're gonna get three damage and take more than one hit. Perfect. That's what I'm looking for. I know it doesn't work when I keep hitting the button because I really do just want to skip this. Oops. It's only three damage. That's not bad. I thought it'd be worse. Did he? Hmm? Oh, that healer needs to go. Eric, you kind of need it. Reinforcements will stop after. Dodge it, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Come on. Yep. One seed? Why not the first hit? Why waste the weapon? I don't know they'd be able to reach her. You. You guys 
to stop the one movement at a time. You guys are literally surrounded on all sides. I mean, they don't do much damage to you, but you don't do that much to them either. Let's have you take out this healer. Give him a steel lance. Okay, good. I can trade and then still attack. Get rid of this bowman. still be fine. You can probably do yep one hit. And you do a cricket. So good. Start moving down. They're not going after ever. It doesn't make sense to me. I figured the AI would want to attack the lords. Because I figured it would basically be like a game over. <laughs> over if he fell. So wouldn't the game want to try and get me to game over? I'm fucked if Seth dies. I don't know if Dulcel is sticking around. Seth has been with me long term. Okay. One, two, more crap. Oh god. Dodge it, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Yes. It has such a low hint threshold that I shouldn't be worried, but I am. And you kind of need a heal. Grant, most things are still doing zero damage to you, so I'm less worried about getting healed. Okay. You can get healed up a bit, Erica. Because you've done a bit of work now. Actually, we're gonna start abusing this because I know I'm in a safe spot. I just started my turn. The only person I moved was Erica, and there was nothing around her. If enemies do show up, they'll show up the next turn. And fire. No, it won't take you on one hit, so we'll use up thunder because I have less fire than I do thunders. Okay. Reinforcements are arriving! Okay. I am going to have him aggro these two. That is my goal. And hopefully that will increase his weapon proficiency. Enough to use the dragon axe! Because that was still part of my plan. Oh, you 
you're doing zero damage to me and you can take him out. Okay, good. Do it. Japanese feel like not even Iron Lance level damage. Everyone feels so far ahead <laughs> compared to. Special skill. I really wish I would have hit twice. Because you could have killed them both. Oh my god. Thank god she dodged that. I did not think she was anywhere near close enough. She was in the danger. Get rid of him. Kill him. Start point at the beginning of this turn. Because that is the old school way to save before every turn. Right, yep, there it is. Level 11 increase. I should now be able to use the Dragon Axe, which will then allow me to do extra damage to Weaver Riders. Like Walter. And hopefully not get critted again. <sighs> okay. I think you can now be safely dropped. And now it's just about gathering them up. To approach them. I'm gonna try and sit you on one over there. Enough and can help heal them all. And do so, which I can also gonna sit him there. Carly, you can also sit there. Let me go ahead and come down. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and. What's your seat? Hi. I am 
Okay. We'll use that with you. And trade. Doesn't seem to hit, and the boss. So, he won't move either. Oh, he could have talked to Seth. Which I don't think I did last round. Okay, just now. Why? Why her? <laughs> That's not a huge heal. But it's not enough. Okay, wait. We are going to... We're right cusp of the end here right now. Great North Star Point. We are not doing this a fourth time. Ephraim, it's good to see you, Seth. You've served Erica well. I knew my sister would be safe as long as you were with her. No, she's safe if only because you came to our aid today. Our situation was not still is not one to promote optimism, but yes, this is the crux of war. The majority of Grotto's strength is our aid before us. We're going to win, Seth. Yes, sir. sure no one else straggling behind which I do have stragglers but not okay you moved <sighs> I've never seen you move <laughs> I guess because I killed you without having you move <laughs> yeah this is gonna be regular occurrence I feel like from this chapter forward. <laughs> Although I'm just gonna have to do that, and normally I don't like to. Especially since I'm recording, I would use those as a way to. Hey, if my recording gets worked, I can just load the restore point. Oh, you fucking dodged it. God damn it. How about you? 
Okay. That's fine. Not happy about it either, but still, it's, it's fine. <sighs> Didn't be trying to hit her. I hope you know. The fact that you just hit her now annoys me even more. Okay. We are almost through this three hours of recording attempt. Technically I'm broken up, but still three hours on one chapter is not something I'm proud of. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I think going forward I'm going to do if I ever do Fire Emblem again, it's going to be on stream. Because I could do it sort of like I've been doing the recordings, which is one chapter per stream session. Which makes a whole lot of sense. Or two chapters if they're shorter. Which is one thing I'm considering doing with uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. If I did do it, I'm going to do it almost like a speedrun because I skip over most of the dialogue now with that game. Because I can. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm not going to attempt to do that yet. Because he has a two way range. And now we pray. Oh wait, no, no, can't do it until next turn. Okay, yeah, now, now we're good. Still pray. Still pray. Pray a lot. Hit! Good. Hell, if this goes real smooth, this will be done. Because he can do 41 damage with that. If he hits, we're good. <gasps> he hit! Oh. oh, I'm so happy. I'm so relieved. It's over. This chapter is finally fucking over. <laughs> oh, Gilliam, I love you. You are MVP. Whew. Brother, Erica. Oh, Ephraim, I've missed you so. Oh, and I've missed you. I can't tell you how happy I am to see you safe. Oh, and I almost forgot I have something to give you. What are these? These are called Sacred Twins. We took these relics from Grotto. The Dark Tomb... Mm, Gilpinir? And the Black Axe Garm. I doubt either of us can use them, but why not see if one of your companions can use them? They might have better luck. They're from Grotto? Does this mean Grotto Keep has fallen? Yes. I conquered the capital and defeated... Emperor Vigarde. But still. Erica, may I make a suggestion? We've been able to join wing forces here, so how about if we all get together and trade information? 
There are people on both sides waiting after all. Okay, so a magic tomb. And a special axe. Hmm. I see I'm familiar faces among you here, so allow me to introduce myself. I am Ephraim, Erica's brother, and Crown Prince of Rhinus. I'm Princess Lalancho of Ralston. A pleasure, a pleasure is mine, of course. I'll begin by telling you, you of how we fared in our mission. We saved the Grotto Capital and defeated the Emperor of the Gar Arde. Grotto's capital, Gar Ard. Ard half to a man surrendered and laid down their arms. Pockets of resistance remain, but the war itself is over. Is that so? However, something remains. That still bothers me. A grotto, a man named Noel, told me about something called a dark stone. Their mages have uncovered lore that led them to the craft a powerful magic stone. This dark stone may have been the catalyst of Grotto's transformation. It seems to be the source of that black wave of energy Mirith described. Agarde died some time ago, but the power of the stone played him like a puppet. The war and everything that passed since was planned by the Darkstone's master. Well, who is it? The mage dude? Okay, I, I've seen him. I swear I've seen him. I just don't remember his name. I still can't. I can't believe it, but I will tell you nonetheless. According to Noel, the man behind and this is Leon, the Imperial Prince. He said Leon's got the Dark Stone. Figures it's the Prince Leon. No, that doesn't make sense. Everman and I know Leon better than that. We've been friends for years. Leon's not the sort of person or who could start a war like this. But Erica. I saw Leon recently. Ephraim, you might know of this, but after I abandoned in the sea route to Rustin, I traveled overland with the Prince Isaness to Jahan. We ran into trouble with Grotto's forces, and I chanced upon Leon. He didn't share in the details of his situation, but he intim intimated. That doesn't seem like the right word. Give me a second. I have the option, and I'm going to do this. Which is... What does it mean to be in... Uh... Okay, dictionary.com. Association and personal close race. Intimate. Uh, characterized by our warm friendship or personal close. Oh, familiar association or feeling. Very private, close, personal. Characterized by our suggesting an atmosphere of conducive to privacy or intimacy. An association, knowledge, understanding arising from a close personal connection of familiar experience. In. In. That's. Intimate. Intimate. But. Intimate. Doesn't. Okay. Okay, so it's intimate. Okay, it's an odd word. He admitted that he was on our side, despite all his appearance. All, despite all appearances, he was on our side. So Leon, Erica, I also met Leon. Did you really? Yes, but he was a completely different person. To be honest, he didn't seem to be completely human. Ephraim, what are you saying? I'll tell you what I saw. I found Leon inside Grotto's keep. This is what he told me. He said he was behind the spore. 
He said he befriended us solely so that one day he could invade Reness. He told me he killed our father. That, that can't, I know, no, I can't believe it either. I refuse to believe it. How could he have planned all this since he was a child? I simply cannot fathom it. I've hardly known James when he acquired the Dark Stone. I have no interest in magic, but there was something uncanny about him. It seemed almost as though he were being controlled by something himself. The two of you might find this hard to accept, but the state of the princeling on heart matters little. He has the dark stone. That rock is the cause of all that has ha happened. The prince must be stopped. Not yet. There's something that he is doing first. A launch him? Prince Ephraim, I believe you felt it as well. The dark stone held by Prince Leon exudes a malefic miasma. You might be able, able to handle Prince Leon alone, but the stone is beyond our keen. Then what do you suggest? The sacred stones. Sacred stones? We've all heard the legend of the sa five sacred stones. They alone possess the power to seal the dark demon king away forever. So of course, to dispel demonic magic, we must use the sacred stones. You expect us to pin in the outcome of this more on some fool legend. Not just a legend, we have a hope. We have hope. We also have hope. Yeah. Okay, free and word. According to Leon, Oni has already seen in the destruction of Grotto, Otto, Freyla, and Jihana stones. Hmm, that explains something. Grotto forces attacked me, intent on destroying the stone on a Verness. And that could be the reason they chose to invade Adrianess. The power of the sacred stones may be greater than we've ever known. Yes, exactly. If we acquire the sacred stones, we'll be able to oppose the dark stones' might. But the three stones have been shattered and our options are few. Do you suppose that during the invasion of Reness? No, I don't think so. The stone of Reness is hidden by the power of Erica's and my bracelets. Grotto has me in many attempts to take our bracelets. Everyone has failed, but so the stones may still be safe. We have to confirm that, of course. We defeated Grotto and we must turn our eyes to our homeland. It's time to return to Reness. Lady Mirth. Salet. I'm grateful to see you well. You two have a connection? Okay, that's you. The people of Kair Plea you will be overjoyed that you're safe. I must apologize to you, Soleil. You were there to protect me from the very start of my journey. When we were attacked, I was separated from you, and I'm so sorry to have worried you. Lady Mir, as long as you are safe, we have nothing to be worried about. It will be my honor to serve you until your mission is complete. Thank you, Soleil. We're done. We're done. We passed it. Shut up. No. <laughs> Stopping. We're done. I can't. It's done. We got through all the dialogue. The end of that chapter er, oh, is officially done. Thank you for watching my struggle to get through this one chapter without losing anyone. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next chapter. Pray it doesn't take me three attempts like that one.